Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to the Cave of the Yeti. Hey, sorry about taking another week off, guys. It's been crazy at work for me. I have been putting in some serious hours. I usually go in around 9, maybe a little after, and I've been working past midnight. So, long days, but hopefully it won't last too much longer. Maybe another week or two. Well, two, maybe three. Um, so to get things started, we have a couple of heads to add and some projects. So the first one is from Velo Shark. This is Velo's head. And the project that he had is Yeti Guardians. And these are some statues or something that we're going to be putting at the entrance of our cave. So I appreciate that. Velo will get those implemented. And then instead of this brick block, we'll have something that represents the Yetis better. But until then, this will be a little placeholder. The next thing that we're going to add is from Zoodle. And she suggested getting ourselves an auto chicken farm. And that's actually what we're going to be working on today. So we'll put that in there, and then we'll go light that up and put the date on there. So thanks, Maz. We'll make sure to get that going today. And the last head I want to put is Mrs. Yeti, my wife. She has been helping me uh, on a couple of our streams that we had on Twitch, which has been months and months ago. Um, but she's helped me with the auto sorter. Plus, she gives a lot of support and other things. So thank you, Mrs. Yeti. We appreciate that. And um, anyway, so I'm going to go get over to where we're going to get our chicken farm started, and I'll meet up with you there. All right, so here we are. I've done a bunch of terraforming, landscaping, removal of dirt and stone and other stuff over here off camera in preparation for this build. And we'll probably take the rest of this mountain or hill down as well. Um, so you can kind of get a reference where we're at. This is where our farmhouse is. And then the cave's back in this way. I've got a project I'm going to be putting up here. I'm not sure exactly when. I've still got to do some finishing touches on it. And um, anyway, Mazuto's idea was for us to get an automated chicken farm going so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna use a design that was done by Exumavoid um, a little while ago so sorry I have to count there uh, I'm gonna use that I'll put a link to the video in the description but basically you start with a six by three platform like this and then you build the farm on top of that and I put it two up off the ground because I want this to look like a chicken coop and be aesthetically pleasing as well as functional so this is the platform we're gonna build the actual farm on and then from there we're gonna make it look like a chicken coop so I'm gonna jump off camera and build the farm according to the tutorial that Exumavoid has and uh, I'll jump back to you when I'm done alright so here it is pretty much finished I made a modification instead of having a chest right here I have put in a hopper and the reason for that is I'm gonna send a hopper train down here and then we'll get a water stream set up and it'll go and hook up with our automated storage at least that's the hope uh, eventually we're gonna do that but today we'll see if we get to that or not so let's kind of talk about this farm a little bit here and jump up just a little so we can kind of see a little bit better so uh, let's go all the way to the top I think Oop, knock that out okay so how this works is you've got the ad adult grown chickens here and they're laying eggs which go into the hopper and there's another hopper actually this hopper is faced into a dispenser we've got two here one right here is gonna contain lava he actually leaves that out of his video um, you make sure you want to you want to put a lava bucket in there I don't have one yet and then this dispenser down here take that out uh, will shoot out eggs which will hatch them you know there's a, a, a percentage chance that they'll hatch into a chicken and then what happens is as they grow up um, these chickens over here continue to lay eggs and then let's jump down here a little bit we've got some redstone set up we've got a comparator uh, coming from this hopper here so it reads when there's anything inside this hopper here it sends a signal over to this torch and there's a redstone on top of this block right here and we've got the torch burnout thing here and there's another piece of redstone right here so it'll read through the signal send a signal through which has the dispenser here shoot the eggs off and that's how it works and then it also at the same time has the lava shoot out and then stop shooting out so it goes real quick that way you don't lose any items you burn the chickens you get cooked chickens every single time you don't lose any so that's pretty much how that works let's go ahead and oh, it's gonna get night here but I'm getting a little dangerous let's go ahead and check some uh, chicken eggs in real quick we'll get these guys hatching and laying eggs for us hopefully we get a few because these are the only eggs that I have oh, there's one another one get these guys in here hopefully we get a few more all right that's all we got so we got three eggs uh, or three chicks that have hatched and they'll continue to grow up continue to make eggs 
so on and so forth. And I may go, uh, we'll breed these guys a few times too with some seeds and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and go sleep the night away and I'll catch up with you once we've done that. And we are back. So I actually had a little bit of an incident with the chickens. I'll show you what happened here. I forgot to put in, down here you can see there's a piece of carpet. I forgot to put that in there. So I ended up having to kill my chickens that I had. And, uh, well, sorry for that grunt. That's baby over there. But I had to kill the chickens and then go find more. It took a long time anyway. So um, we've got these four chickens in here now, I think. Maybe five. Four. And they've been laying eggs. You can see there's one little guy in here who's getting ready to grow up. So our farm is working so far. We just need to put the lava in. And I'm going to leave that so I can keep collecting eggs from these guys for a while until we get enough chickens in here that I'm comfortable. And we're not hurting on food right now, so it's not a huge necessity that we have it cooking chicken for us. But... So let's go ahead and finish this, and what we're going to do is just make this, make this look like a chicken coop. And I'm going to keep it really pretty simple. We're just going to add another level, or layer, on over here, just like this, on each side. Just so that we have ourselves a nice little border between. There you go, you see the farm working there. We just got an egg that shot off. We'll see if we hatched. Just want to make sure that we have a little buffer in between the actual, oh, no chicken, the redstone and the rest of the outside. Give ourselves a little bit of room. And then you can see I've just got this set up down here with a little chest. There's nothing in it like right now, but it'll load up with eggs as these guys grow up. And then eventually I'll put in a lava bucket and we'll get that so that it starts cooking these guys up. And let's see, we're going to want to put like this. We're going to put this like here. Chop this down like that. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I will continue to build this up like this and go all the way around and I will catch up with you all when I am done. Alright, and here we are. You can see we finished up the chicken coop completely. I'm standing on the roof of our house over here, but uh, you can see I've added a fence that goes all the way around and I have obviously finished the coop itself. We've got the stone bricks going around the outside of the the roof there, kind of a trim, and then we've got cobblestone in the middle. Added ourselves a little walkway for the chickens to come up and down, and eventually we'll have little chickens running around. Let's go to jump over there. And inside here we've added some texture variations. We've added hay bales to cover up the hopper train. And then these guys are still going crazy in there. They'll continue to breed. And continue. we'll continue breeding them and grabbing eggs from out under here. You can see we've got an egg here. We can go throw that in. Let's stay here, so hopefully we'll get ourselves a chicken. And let's see, trying to think what else. So eventually, yeah, we want this to be like a functioning chicken coop. We'll have live chickens running around on the outside once we get ourselves some eggs. Oh, no luck there. That's okay. But the last thing, last thing we need to do is go and update our room of projects. So I'll go meet you guys in there. And here we are in the room of projects. So I've gone to the anvil already and updated the date for today's date. Yeah, so thanks, Maz, for the suggestion on the auto chicken farm. And we've got that thing done. You can see we already lit it up. So one project, one more project done. We've got plenty to go, you can see. But a special thanks goes today to Sophie and Addy for being awesome viewers. Thank you guys so much, especially Sophie. I know you're a big time fan. So thank you so much, and we will catch you guys next time.